Hello, my wonderful Libra collective. Sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, and North Node. What up, Libras? What up, what up, what up, what up? Wherever you have Libra in your chart, this message is for you. Please use discernment, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest out, okay? And guess what? Whatever you're going through, you can get through. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Don't discourage yourself, and don't let nobody else discourage you. I already got my nose itching. So let's see what we got from my wonderful Libra Collective. Like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you're a return subscriber, thank you. I appreciate it. So what we got for the wonderful Libras? Queen of Water. Loving, giving, and psychic. So you can be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Queen of Water. Hold on. I feel like my nose is just itching. Ooh. What else? Nine of Water in Reverse. Nine of Water in Reverse. Something was not wish fulfillment. Something was not happy, and somebody's dreams didn't come true. Tell me about, um, tell me more. Three of air, sorrow, forgiveness, and healing. The sun card. And the six of fire at the bottom of the deck. Oh, my nose is itching. Okay. So whoever this queen of water is, they did not find something wish fulfillment. It could have been a three of swords type of energy. Because I got three of air. That's three of swords. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Something wasn't balanced. Something wasn't fair. Um... It could have been in a relationship, a lover situation, a family situation, any type of connection. Somebody wasn't using their logic, their brain to make sure some somebody didn't get hurt. Somebody got hurt. And, 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 and they didn't want to see the truth. There was not success in this relationship or this situation. Recognition, um, enthusiasm. Somebody wasn't happy about what was going on. But somebody came out a victor. In this situation, I got six of fire, success, recognition, and self-esteem. So let's get into it and see what the hell is going on. Let's see what's going on. You know? Oh, my ear is itching. I just started itching all of a sudden, and I don't know why. I was just doing so good a minute ago. All right, so tell me about this queen of water. Okay. What's going on with you, Queen of Water? What you up to? Why wasn't something wish for fulfillment? Something didn't feel, something felt too familiar. Like somebody felt like somebody was doing the same thing over. And, and it wasn't good. Tell me about the Queen of Water. King of Swords. Somebody was head over heart when it came to love and giving and whatever this psychic ability was. I guess somebody didn't believe in that type of thing. Somebody was more into the science of things. Truthful, honesty, mental clarity, authority, leadership, reliable, and sage advice. Tell me more about this king of swords and this queen of water. Oh. This, this queen of water was balancing her masculine too. So this queen of water was the feminine and the, this king of swords is the masculine within her. She's investing into herself, her hard work. She has standards. She is self-mastery. So she's balancing her yin and her yang. Her feminine and masculine. She has 
lots of talent. She has high self-esteem. And she she's disciplined. She knows how to work hard. She take pride in what she does. Okay, Queen of Water, I see you. You got a lot of gifts over here. I got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which is air. I got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, which is earth. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, which is water. So this Queen of Water is balanced her feminine and masculine energy. Her feminine is, is, is the Queen of Cups. Her masculine is the King of Swords. So she don't play with it. Don't play with her because she ain't playing with you. She's very analytical, very logical. She's about the truth. And she going to do what she got to do to get the truth. Because nobody going to be playing with her time. Oh, she's serious. Tell me about this nine of water in reverse. She ain't playing no games. She's a teacher, too. She's a teacher. She looks so sweet. So nice. But that masculine side, forget about it. <laughs> Baby, leave that one alone. So for the nine of water, I got the chariot in reverse. Who, whoever thought they was going to get wish fulfillment by playing with her emotions. They, they, let's just say it didn't work out that way. I got the chariot in reverse. This person was not balanced. This month, this person, I was about to say this motherfucker was suffering from mother wish, wounds, wishes. Maybe they was trying to. Please their mother. Somebody was trying to please their mother. So whoever this person was, they were not balanced. They not they were not fair in love. And they was having mother wounds, meaning they 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 wasn't raised right when it came to knowing how to deal with a woman or relationships. And somebody wanted to impress their mother. It was lack of control, aggression, arrogance, and carelessness. Somebody was not in the best energy. But they want to wish fulfillment. <laughs> but as you can see, they ain't get it. Because I got the nine of water in reverse and the chariot in reverse. So this all has something to do with this person, this individual. And this queen of water, which her masculine was the fucking king of swords, wasn't trying to hear it. This woman was like, I invest too much on my, in myself. You're not going to play with me. You're not going to play with me because I ain't playing with you. I got better things to do. This person was focused, focused on doing what they were supposed to do. All right, ma'am. <laughs> she said, reiterate that, please. People are really out here trying to mind their business and do what they got to do. Please stop playing with me. Okay, ma'am. Sorry. So let's see what we got for the three of swords, three of air. Tell me about the three of swords, three of air, sorrow, forgiveness, and healing. Okay. Ooh. We got the devil card. Okay. So somebody wasn't in the best energy, like I said. They had a toxic way of doing things, a toxic behavior that came to, that had to do with relationships and how they were taught to handle relationships. Shab they somebody was living in their shadow side. They had a lot of vices, attachments, addictions. Temptation was definitely a distraction for them. So they gravitate to people, places, or, and things off of temptation. We already know that's no bueno. <laughs> that's a no-no. <laughs> that is a cut. Cut it out. A no. Somebody had codependency problems too. And, and very toxic when it came to material things. We got Capricorn, Earth energy, and the ruler of Capricorn is Saturn. So somebody's going to be coming up with a lot of, off a lot of lessons. This person had a lot of lessons to learn. Because Saturn is the father planet. Saturn don't play that. Oh, you're going to learn today. Tell me about the sun card. In reverse. Ooh, baby. I think I like you from head to toe. So I got the sun card in reverse. And guess what clarified the sun card? The sun in the upright. So whatever this um bullshit somebody was on, 
that they didn't want to see. Somebody seen it with the sun card in the upright. So whatever the sun card was in reverse, somebody seen it with the sun card in the upright. Whatever way this person was trying to do things to get success, it wasn't working. Somebody wanted success, recognition, and 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 guess what? They didn't have a high self-esteem. They had low self-esteem. And they weren't going to get it. Somebody was not using their intuition. They were more in their fire sign. Their shadow self. Using things to validate them like materialism things, attachments, temptation, destruction. Somebody was not in the best behavior. And whoever seen this person, this six of fire, which is this queen of water, and this king of swords, which is her masculine, they was happy, vitality. They were fun. They were warm. They were celebrating success. They were growing. They were rebirth changing with the eight of pentacles. All is well. So I got sun, the Libra. Somebody wasn't seeing themselves for who they were. With the sun card. But somebody did. And they got out of it because they wanted, they wanted success. They wanted to be happy. Somebody, this person had good self-esteem. They know what they wanted. Tell me about the six of fire. Six of fire, please. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody knew that they had success coming to them. And that they had to work hard in order to get it. They had to keep a, a good disposition about them. They had to stay positive. Not saying that they know they wasn't going to go through struggles. But it's the way you handle your struggles. It's the way you see things. You have to change your perspective when things arise and come up on you. And you don't expect it. It's like, back up off me, devil. Meaning toxic people, ways and behaviors. Those be the devils. Somebody was like, back up off me. I ain't here for this. I ain't doing this. Somebody was not trying to let somebody block their happiness or success with this Ace of Pentacles. And it was this Leo energy, Six of Wands. Because somebody was abundant. Somebody had abundance. Somebody was a good manifestation. I have manifestations coming in. Manifesta. Opportunities, new careers. Somebody had a lot of good things to look forward to. That was in their mind. And they wasn't trying to let that anybody affect them. They wanted pr prosperity. And somebody get caught up on their words too. And my nose is starting to run. Hold on, hold on. Somebody gets caught up in their words. Oh, hold on. I feel like, oh, good, yeah. I feel like somebody had communication problems when it came to certain things. You know, whoever this three of swords was who wanted wish fulfillment but was in the nine of water in reverse, I feel like they had it. They had communication problems. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Love, compassion, creativity. New feelings, spirituality, intuition, new baby, proposals, and marriage. So this could have been a good thing. This could have been a good thing. But somebody came in the way of it. And it's because somebody still had stuff left in the past. That's what always happens. When you don't clear up the past, it pops out. Hello? Excuse me, can I talk to you? <laughs> you got to clear your past so you can live in the moment, so you can be in the present. Otherwise, your past will always come back up if you don't clear it. Because guess what they want? Closure. Somebody is going to come to you for closure. They want you to look them in their face and say, it's over. I'm, it's, I'm done. And I don't understand why people don't uh, don't understand that nobody owes you closure. Closure is what you give yourself because somebody wasn't good to you. 
Because you wasn't in a good energy when you was with that person. Because things didn't feel right when you was with that person. That is the closure. Too much confusion. Too much heartache. That is closure. We don't fit well together. Why are we taking it personally? It's not personal, you see. It's business. You don't work with me. I don't work with you. We don't gel together. So obviously, it's somebody out there better for you than me. And I hope it's the same for me. So thank you. I appreciate everything I learned from you and it's time for me to go. On that type of note. With no hard feelings, as always. Somebody likes to take things personal. It ain't never personal when you want the best for yourself. It's business, baby. I don't want to wake up every day feeling upset. I don't want to wake up every day mad. I don't want to wake up every day questioning somebody who say they love me. It ain't never personal. It's business. And you got to run your life like it's a successful business. No, no thank you. I appreciate it though. That's how you got to give it up. Tell me about the King of Swords. Mmm. A Pisces. A Pisces. Whoever it is, I did say Queen of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, so whoever with this masculine that this masculine um was in, the Queen of Water's masculine, has something to do with a Pisces who was in um devil energy. Well, that was living in their shadow side. So somebody see this person for who they are. And you already know this price, this person, this, this queen of water could be a, a, um, a psychic. She know who this person was now. And she ain't fucking with him. She got better things to do. She like, no. Not only does her feminine see this person for who she is, her masculine see this person for who they are. Masculine or feminine. They know what's going on. They know what's up. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Whatever this investment is somebody's working hard on, that's going to be brought to the light, that's going to be lucrative, somebody's a medium. Somebody is a medium. They know what talents they got. They know what's going on. Even if somebody else don't want to know or don't want to believe it. Somebody knows somebody was trifling. And they're working on themselves. This queen of water, her and her masculine, which is the king of swords, they know what's up. She's balanced. She's balanced. She knows how to use her feminine and her masculine energy. So run up. That's what I heard. So run up. Tell me about this nine of water and this in reverse and this chariot in reverse. People always act like other people don't have gifts. Somebody know exactly what's going on. And even if you don't believe that this person is a medium, this person ain't trying to prove nothing to you. She said, run my credit with the universe. Run my credit with the motherfucking mother earth, bitch. Go ask the ancestors about me. So somebody better check this person's credentials because they ain't playing. So whatever this nine of water was in reverse, which was some bullshit, the chariot in reverse, which was some bullshit, somebody took their time with the knight of pentacles to invest in some bullshit. Whatever this wish fulfillment that they wanted, whatever they thought was going to be fair, balanced, and just was not. And they, in, they invested in it with this nine of, Knight of Pentacles. And they invested a lot of time into it. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Oh, just in your chart. And guess what? It was some bullshit. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, please. Somebody was a time waster. They wasted a lot of time on some, bu some bullshit. Some bullshit, okay? Moon energy, bad. So somebody was doing bad moon work energy, sending them negativity, sending them toxicity. And they thought somebody wasn't going to see it with the sun card in reverse. 
They thought that, that somebody wasn't going to see it eventually. Let me tell you, when you're spiritually woke and you know what's going on, them ancestors, them spirits, your higher power, universe earth is going to let you know that people are trying to come up against you. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. On some sore. You play with the wrong one. Tell me about this three of swords in the devil card. Three of swords in the devil card. Come on now. Two of wands. And it had to do with somebody making a decision. Had something to do with somebody making a decision about an option, about a choice they had in a relationship. Somebody needed to choose themselves. Because they didn't know what, was, what it was hitting for. Something looked good but was not good. Something sound good but was a disaster. And whoever this person is, they knew they were wrong. They knew what they had going on with them. And they tried to trick somebody into some bullshit. Into getting them hurt. Harmed. Tell me about this two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Tell me about this two of wands. High, pri high priestess, Pisces energy. You already know. It was trying to trip somebody off with they, their with they success. Being seen for who they are. But let me tell you something. When you're blessed and you're doing right by yourself and others, nobody can stop nothing. They can prolong it so you can see exactly who's involved with it. They can prolong it so you can see exactly what the fuck they got going on with it. But you can't stop it. Somebody was trying to stop your success, your money, your bag, your wealth, and taking care of your family, or for some envious, envy and jealousy. This was all about bullshit. Not nice. Somebody was not very nice. Tell me about the sun card in reverse and the sun card in the upright. Somebody was mad because one of these decisions was authentic with the two of wands. Whoever somebody had to make a decision about, this person was very authentic. And someone was pretending to be. Tell me about authentic. Somebody was pretending to be and somebody really was. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. So somebody wanted to stop divine masculine's money too. Oh, so somebody had a whole plan on some shit. I, th they was working for the motherfucking op, op academy. Somebody built a school of thieves, scammers, and petty motherfuckers, envious, jealous people, and they called it the op academy. It was a lot of people involved in this, as you see. Tell me about Divine Masculine. damage so whoever this divine masculine was who was definitely trying to st first of all he don't even know he was sabotaging himself by trying to come up on somebody who was authentic sending them bad energy as if this medium wasn't gonna know so not only was he was trying to stop her money he was stopping his own money or for some damage stuff tell me about damaged Somebody root chakra was messed up. Tell me about damage. A Leo. A Leo. Somebody. Somebody had the strength though to make their own um wealth. Bring in their own prosperity. They just was looking at things in a messed up way. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles. Blockages. Somebody had blockages. That's why they, they couldn't understand why they wasn't having this abundance, this prosperity, because they had too many blockages that they needed to clear up. Tell me about these blockages. Temptation. 
time waster. Somebody was wasting their own time off of false fake love. Somebody was wasting their time off of false fake love. They was a time waster. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Whatever this Ace of Cups was, it was lucky. Somebody just wasn't in the right state of mind. Mentally, physically, or emotionally to see it. Because it wasn't time to. They needed to see themselves for who they are, who they were, and continue to go down this avenue. Because once you get to the end of the alley, baby, there's only you there, standing in that alley. How did you lead yourself to a dead end, my dear? Offer your own choices, I hear. Tell me more. Somebody is stalking somebody. Tell me more. And what it is, whatever it was, it was a two of cups and the ace of cups. A deep level soulmate. Something was deep. Something was beautiful. Something was amazing. It could have been. But somebody needed to see it for that. And like I said, somebody's stalking somebody. Tell me about this Pisces. Somebody wanted out. I want out. Somebody was... They wanted out and they were... They enjoyed the sun that they were ba bathing in. But they wanted out. Tell me about this mediumship. Emotions overwhelm me. Somebody knew that somebody was emotionally overwhelmed. So somebody couldn't get too close to somebody because they got emotionally overwhelmed quick. Tell me about this this moon magic bag. This love is crazy. So whatever this bad moon magic was, it didn't help. Somebody still felt love for somebody. It was still overwhelming. So whatever energy work they put out didn't work. Tell me about this high priestess. I wish I could be a different person. Somebody wish they could be a different person, be more lucky on their own. Somebody wanted to be different for themselves. So things would turn out differently for them. I feel like somebody feel like they made a lot of bad, bad choices and that's why their luck was so bad. They wish they would have did things differently. Tell me about I wish I, I could be different, a different person. Because why do I feel this way? Because somebody felt strongly about a soulmate connection. And it wasn't just a soulmate connection. This was deep. This was heavy. Tell me about this um, two of cups. Tell me about the two of cups. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. So somebody was missing this two of cups. And they were crying at night because this love was crazy. Tell me about this ace of cups. Somebody enjoyed that light, I tell you, boy. They ain't, they ain't remember what their life was like before they had it. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So somebody knew somebody deserved better. My life is a mess right now. And the heat between y'all was intense. So baby, somebody has some stuff going on, but guess what?
They started realizing that. They started realizing it. I'd rather know than not. I'd rather know than not. I don't want to be walking out here pretending something is and is not. I'd rather know. Let's see. Somebody, fate's at the bottom of the deck. Somebody needed some healing. Somebody needed to fall in love with themselves again. And that's what I got. Because it always began with you. Bottom of the deck, yin. Yin. And somebody wanted to put this yin energy to an end. Something was loving. Something was very intuitive. Somebody, whoever this yin person is, is very intuitive. They're very loving. They, their cups, their water overflow. And somebody felt like they needed to put it to an end. Time to go and clean it up. Somebody felt like they was going to lose somebody if they didn't release whatever they needed to release in order to heal. So they had some cleaning up to do to be here in the present. To, to make things make sense for themselves. Because whoever this per per person is that's on their purpose should or sh is supposed to be in their life. It was designed that way. It was designed that way. But it only works that way if you clean up what, you're, what you got going on. Because whoever this person is got plans with time to go. And they on their way up. Healing, growing, learning. Healing, growing, and learning. And they trying to give people that key too. Of healing, growing, and learning. Because they on their way up. So thank you Libras. Like and subscribe to my channel. And enjoy.